Canelo study Floyd a little bit too because there was one of the fights, I don't know if you remember, he actually did the shoulder roll. He does it. He was, he was doing, it was like his, maybe Alfonso Gomez or something. He was doing, it wasn't, it wasn't Mayweather caliber, yeah, but, it's, but it was like a, a knockoff Philly shit. Yeah, he was, you know what I'm saying? And that's just something that, and I hate when people say you're doing it because of Floyd. No, yo, bro, it's a boxer named Nicolino Luce, who is from Argentina, Argentinian fighter, if I'm not mistaken. If you go and watch, he's like one of the greatest defensive fighters of all time. His shell was better than Floyd's shell. And I could care less what you say. The shit was so sharp. He could, he could roll punches so good, catch them, and his shit was so tight. If you don't believe me, just go look him up. Nicolino Luce, he had a... Stupid good shell. And, and that was in the 1950s, 40s, 60s or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's just not a Floyd thing. That's just part of boxing. It's just Floyd has mastered that style and he is at the pinnacle so everybody sees that. Now if Pacquiao was at the pinnacle, everybody would be trying to fight like Pacquiao and throw combinations and hop in and hop out. But that's just how it is. That's why the shoulder roll is so scrutinized and picked apart because Floyd is the highest of the game, so everybody trying to do but James Tony did this shit. James Tony was raw with this. Dre, Dre, yeah. That's just regular shit, you know what I'm saying? That's regular boxing. I think, in my opinion, this is my opinion. I think James Tony's Philly shell is more offensive minded too. And I think yes. it might be more God given and Floyd's is God given with practice. You know what I'm saying? With yes, a lot of practice. You I know agree. what I'm saying? Like James Tony. It didn't even look like he was a he human. Was, that's just how like, he fought. Like he was just like, ha, ha, like he wasn't yeah, even yeah. trying. But like Floyd, he came. He was cultivated into boxing. He came from a boxing that family. Is, that is, hey, that so I, I think that's what I think Floyd's just because from a young age he's been doing he's been it. So he's mastered yes, it. He's mastered it. And that's, he, that's what I that, that I couldn't say it no better. Kind of like the Bruce Lee, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Had, he had his it man, which was his uncle and his father and his. He was he was and he mastered in the shell, it. you know what I'm saying? So that's just he just mastered it. But James Tony just naturally was like that due to the fact that if you watch old school fighters, you was going you everybody knows in old school boxing that you, you, you if if you fight with your hands down, you got to check yourself with your shoulder. You know, bang, you throwing a punch. See, everybody want to think about the shoulder roll as if you right handed, they want to roll this way because Floyd rolled it. Right, and a lot of people, they just don't even know how to roll, right? They roll like this. Chin still up in the air and shit, get hit with the overhand right, when actually you don't roll your shoulder, you bring the shoulder over like this. You catch the jab, bring the shoulder over, and then catch the hook. But see, he Floyd do it so fast that it looked like he actually going like this when he just going, <laughs> and then you catch the punch right there. Some people bring the shoulder up, but you gotta bring the shoulder over to the chin. And it's like bringing the hand right here, you know what I'm saying? Boom, you know. But I ain't get too many secrets away. But that's that's what kind of like what the shell is about, you know what I mean? So. Well, you said Andre Berto's your man. What do you think of Berto's shoulder roll versus Guerrero? <laughs> you know what? Everybody, get, everybody get, always talk about my homie Berto for that. But the thing is, why you do that? Berto, fifty one later. <laughs> Why you do that? Berto been using the ropes. If you watch when he fought Steve Forbes, he always fought like that. And like other fights like David Estrada, he always was ah, ah, blocking punches like that. It's just that he used to mix up the shell. The shell has all different type of looks. You don't just be like this, walking and stuff. You can do that, but you have to actually practice that in sparring extremely a lot. Because I practice it a lot. Just And you be getting hit. You know what I'm saying? But you got to figure out different ways how to catch, block, and shit, but I think he came out and he didn't know how to do it again. I'm left-handed, so I don't know how to do it good against a right-handed fighter, and it works better with a left-handed fighter, just vice versa when you're right-handed. That's why you see Floyd don't really try to use it that much against a right -hand, a left-handed fighter, because the left comes down the pipe where the jab would actually be on the right-hand fighter. So he don't use it that much. He used to use the high guard. Sometimes he just go into it to catch when they try to shoot the left hook around on us from the southpaw stand. But he didn't know. And he he abandoned. He came out with Guerrero was landing. But once Guerrero seen that and threw a left hook, and he was looking to catch the left hand, he got caught with the hook. He kind of like it kind of like threw his game off. And then that wasn't the real Berto. That was he wasn't training like he should have been training in that in those fights. You know, and that just come from his mouth. That come from 
what he said. I'm not making no excuses for him. I talked to him. He said he, he wasn't himself in that fight. He wasn't training like he should. Because there's no way that the bird who fought Floyd, you know, wouldn't beat Guerrero. He would probably, he, he'll fuck Guerrero up. He has more skill. Berto has more skill than Keith Thurman. And, and the weird, I don't want everybody to be <laughs> bugging out. Keith Thurman does hit hard. His skill level is not, I'm not saying he's sorry, but Berto has a higher skill level as far as pulling off moves, uh, punch coordination, combinations. Guerrero, um, Thurman is an awkward fighter, like I explained before. He has a lot of punching power, and awkwardness does help him. You know what I'm saying? But Berto would have clearly beat Guerrero if he would have been training at the level he was training at for Floyd. Probably would have stopped him. All right.